Hey guys, how's it going? Got another episode of Arrow to check out. This is episode 10 of season one titled Burned. Um, the end of last episode kind of had a big reveal where it showed Tommy's dad is this mystery arrow-like figure, but a bad version. Um, and he had his face fully covered, so I couldn't tell who it was and I was completely wrong on trying to guess. Um, so yeah, I like how this show keeps adding more mystery and things at the end that you didn't realize about certain characters. Um, so that's been pretty great. Uh, I've been loving this show and can't wait to check out another episode. And if you want to see the full length reaction as well as early access you can head over to patreon so if you guys want to check out early access and full-length reactions head over there um, if not just keep checking back for these sort of highlight reel versions on youtube uh, can't wait to check out the next episode though so here we go hey you over here i can use some help i got a hot spot is he not really a firefighter hey, hey. Hey. is that tommy's dad do that to a random firefighter. <laughs> Get ready for the rematch. Oh. That's the trick he did with uh, Helena. He's off his game. How you doing? Rehab going good? I've seen the movie before. Cut me some slack. I've been gone for a while and apparently I missed the cinematic genius that is Zach Galifianakis I mean with mom you know when it gets all British and stern like <laughs> Moira get dressed we're going out for lunch damn you know and it worked I don't think what happened to Danny was an accident I think he might have been murdered Joe, do you remember when Sarah died? I did all this research to try to find an explanation for why the boat went down. I needed to believe that it wasn't just an accident. But it wasn't. What I am doing, Laura. I think. I once handled a case. And neither was this. For a clerk in the coroner's office. It said that Danny's turnout coat was doused in turpentine. But I checked, and the plant owner said that there wasn't any in the factory. A turnout's supposed to withstand temperatures in excess of 500 degrees. But the coroner said that the fire did not exceed 250. Shouldn't this go to like... Did my brother burn hotter than the fire that supposedly killed The cops? This seems like evidence, like what she's saying, so give it to her dad and then, like, why don't... It seems like pretty conclusive evidence. Well, the fire department has its own investigative unit. They don't answer to the police. Sorry to take so long with the detectives. DSU's been really backed up. What, do you find anything? The only prints on it are yours. The tech inside is military grade. I can't even trace the manufacturer. Forensics wise, it's a dead end. Another case? Vigilante. The phone belongs to him. Where'd you get it? Um, does he answer? Oh, I'll let Kelton said it's a, uh, it's a dead end. Listen, kiddo, I feel for Joe and her family. I really do. But um, there's not a lot I could do this end. I gotta go. I love you. Hey, let's go. It just seemed like good evidence to re like to research it or investigate it, but I, I guess not. <laughs> Is she gonna call it hero? Oh, that was a cool like mirror shot. If Danny De La Vega was murdered, then we have to bring his killer to justice. She just like grabs his hood real quick and like I'll look into it. shines a light on him. I'll look into it. Oh my gosh, I, I keep thinking of Batman. At the end of Batman Begins, didn't he grab the Joker card and he was like, I'll look into it. I don't know. It's a pretty basic line, I guess, but. Copy that. Mail out and wait for second in company. Is that him? Oh shoot. No! Oh, you couldn't save him. What the heck? He's got an axe. Watch out. Any distinguishing marks? Yep. A fly tattoo?
why wouldn't he like try to light him on fire or something? I have some information for you. The killer drives a 1970s Ford pickup. There's a scar on his right wrist from a severe burn and a tattoo of a firefly. Oh, well, fire. gotten pretty close to him. There was a fire. Yeah, melted right through the stanchions. Whole damn thing came down. Bad day. 34 civilians and six of my fellow firemen died. Now, do you need anything else, Miss Lance? Other than reminding me of all the friends I've lost and buried? Hello? Hopefully she doesn't turn around. I spoke to Danny's old chief. I didn't get anywhere. What am I supposed to do now? Nothing. It's my turn. Oh. You don't ask me to do my homework or to be home at a decent hour. I mean, you, you basically stop being my parent. Well, how's this? Don't talk to your mother like that. Maybe you should start acting like my mother. <laughs> Yikes. So I don't have to act like yours. She's like, I have to start parenting you to start parenting me. What is this? Mr. Queen, this is spectacular. Well, the Starling City Firemen's Relief Association well, can't thank you enough. You guys are the real heroes. Like at the Nodell Tower fire, which I've been reading up on. Oh, yeah. Garfield Lind was the first man to die in your unit. Now, I read that they recovered his coat in the wreckage, but they never found his body. You always interrogate your club's guests, Mr. Queen? Why? Do you feel like you're being interrogated? You can see it on your face at the fire station. There's more to the Nodell Tower fire than people know about, isn't there? I've been doing this a long time, and I've never seen a fire like that. What are you Someone hiding, sir? A science fiction movie. I radioed for my men to get the hell out of there. There's no way he could have survived that fire. You'd be surprised the power of revenge can give you. Is he the only one Thank in a fireman's so costume? Oh. The people in the city appreciate everything you. You're insane. Guard did not make it out of that building. Just like he won't make it out of this one. Oh, shoot. It's like getting revenge on all the firefighters. Guy looks like Two-Face. Another Batman reference now. <laughs> he does kind of look like Two-Face, though. Left me in there to die. How did you get out? I was pulled from the wreckage. Listed as a John Doe in the burn unit, in a coma for months. When I woke up and saw what was left of who I was, I only had one thought, to leave you as alone as you left me. Shoot the flame. Like you're shooting a dang candle. Make it go out. No, is he not gonna do that? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. He's back. He's got his crew back. It's over. But I'm already burned. Let's go do it. Burned. Oh, was he get? Oh no. Oh my. taking Walter's position at the office. What changed your mind? Not what. Who? My daughter. Thea? Maybe you should hold on to this. I mean, I may not like the guy's methods, but whoever this guy is, he's got a habit of putting himself between danger and you. We're good. I got a strong signal from the Crystal VHF transmitter you hid in the speaker, and it can't be back traced. Please talk to me like I'm a third grader, please. Next time your daughter calls a vigilante, we'll be able to listen to every word. 
I know you swore to bring this guy down, detective, but using your own daughter as bait, that's stone cold. Dang. Oh, did he put on like his outfit, his uniform? Next, more training? No. We go hunting. Ooh, back to the list. All right. All right, so that was a pretty solid episode. Um, I think the biggest takeaway is that now the perception of Arrow is that he's basically a good guy. Um, pretty much everyone thinks that now, you know, the news thinks that now, basically like Arrow's publicist, you know, letting everyone know that he's actually a good guy. Um, even his sister, it seemed like, um, Laurel, and then the, uh, the police guy, Laurel's dad, um, it seems like he changed his mind, but at the same time, we found out at the end that he's just trying to catch him still. So maybe he still like doesn't think he's a hero. Um, and him saying that thing about like, you know, I don't agree with his methods, but he's saving you, which is true. He's, he's saving her. Um, but he was just kind of saying that to like get on her good graces and to kind of like let her guard down. And then you now he's gonna tap the phone to see. Um, see if he can find him so so i don't know um everything else though the villain this time um yeah just an interesting story didn't really have to do with you know oliver's list or anything like that but um you know it was still it was still kind of interesting to see the the story unravel and to see what happened um and then the reveal of his face it just kind of reminded me of two-face of uh you know uh, the dark knight and uh, Aaron Eckhart, like that kind of makeup or whatever. I don't know if it was like trying to go over that look, but or just because it was like a burn, but just kind of, of uh, reminded me of that. Um, but just a good story. Um, Tommy has made this change to like a good guy, and he's like running this, you know, the nightclub and putting on this new fundraiser, which this time it seems like is just to do a fundraiser, isn't to like, you know, impress Laurel like last time. And yeah, just the story overall of this episode I thought was really good. We didn't see the IT girl this episode. Uh, I'm wondering, it would be kind of cool to see like some story happen where it's like that detective's um, IT guy against like Oliver and I guess Walter's IT guy. And then Walter, we don't even know where he's at. Um, but yeah, just like oh, they each each side has like their own IT person. I wonder if there is going to be a scene like that down the line, or 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 if not, I don't know. I just think that would be cool. Um, and yeah, uh, speaking of Walter, we don't know where he's at. I was kind of wondering, you know, at first the mom seemed to be genuinely like distraught that he's gone, even though she knew, you know, she knows what happened to him. But I thought, okay, maybe this is setting it up to be more like there's this overarching villain like tommy's dad or something and she's kind of like in a tough situation but then she did very quickly like become the head of the board or the directors whatever which kind of makes you think oh maybe she was just kind of playing that and then now she's kind of like the head of the company so yeah it's pretty interesting and i'm wondering what's going to happen with that story and pretty much every story going on with the show um that's pretty much all i have to say about it i thought it was just a solid episode and it's going to be interesting to see him now go back to the list and actually like start crossing off names and doing more fighting uh, maybe we'll see helena again down the line who knows but yeah that was really good if you're seeing this on youtube like i mentioned before you can see the full length reaction and also early access to episodes of arrow and I'm also doing Brooklyn Nine-Nine right now. Also have some movie reactions coming up. So you can see full reactions and early access over on Patreon. If not, I'll see you next time uh, for these weekly episodes, which should be Wednesday and Saturday for Arrow. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.